in the book, Look What I Did with a Leaf, we can see how artists are inspired by nature to make art. We have leaves all around us now that it's fall and we have all these beautiful colors that we can create. I want you to think about the size of leaves you'll need, what you can make of them, the shapes and the textures, and how you can overlap or lay the leaves on top of each other. Also, I want you to think about contrast, how leaves look when they are placed next to each other. So, your supplies today is a black piece of paper, a container of Mod Podge, which is a heavy glue, your leaves, and your glaze brush. With a white crayon, figure out which way you want to orient your composition, vertical or horizontal, and write your name and your teacher code at the bottom. Now, arrange your leaves according to what you want to create, thinking about layering and thinking about contrast or how leaves look when they're placed next to each other. You can feel free to take them off the stem and you can feel free to use the stem too if that's something that would work for you. Once you have your composition in place, you'll open the lid on your Mod Podge. Take your glaze brush, get the bristles damp, layer the Mod Podge on the paper. This provides like a sticky base for it. Set down your leaf and then layer the Mod Podge on top too. That will seal it on your paper and later the Mod Podge will dry and it won't be as wet or shiny. Again, think about contrast, how colors look when they're placed next to each other, how they stand out, and think about layering or how they look when we put them over top of each other. When you are finished with your composition, put the lid on tight on your Mod Podge, take your brush, face down to the paintbrush hot tub, return any leaves to the plastic bag that they came from, and take your art to the drying rack. Put it on the same color yarn as your table lantern and table folder.